Mr. Crossell, how's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I've already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Ms. Zhu Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false? Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. In that case, might you know where Miss Sher Chow lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Whatever shall I do? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Monsieur Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? <sighs> I can't lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, th there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. I... My family is in the ore business, too, but business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around. So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. 
I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. But now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? <sighs> Why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Miss Zhirchow, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm... That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Zhirchow somehow. True. Though surely there must be a win-win solution. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Jitchell looks like she's about to faint. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the jadeite is genuine, would there? Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation per the contract. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then... negotiate the amount of compensation. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so... I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao in tow, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Hmm. About that. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I just don't... <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jadeite inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right. Understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossel. Thank you very much. 
How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Miss Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. <laughs>